has no one to play with. Here's Dan Patrick. The ending to the McCall Lewis title fight raised more questions than just should the fight have been stopped. The larger issue now concerns the future of the entire heavyweight division. Lewis lost the multi million dollar payday to fight former champ Ray Bo. Bo versus Lewis had been anticipated for over a year. Now, both sides may regret not signing on the dotted line. That was a fight that I think would have been interesting to people. It's a fight they clearly waited too long to make. It was a fight that would have netted both fighters millions had they fought immediately as they were supposed to after Riddick Bowe beat Evander Holyfield. Why didn't they? Greed is the answer to that. As for Saturday night's winner, Oliver McCall, he may be in a position to be Mike Tyson's opponent when Tyson gets released from prison next May. They knew that the fight with Tyson is going to be here. Ain't no more equivocation. Ain't no more equivocation about who's going to fight Tyson. We know who's going to fight Tyson. So if you forget about that, you can announce that now. We just wait for it to come true. Okay. Okay. There will be power in this power. As you can see, I do have power. So what's next for McCall? Now, in the meantime, I was going to defend this crown, and we're going to fight over here in England, we're going to fight in America, we're going to fight all over the world. And I'm quite sure that Mr. Michael Ward did not want to step my way. Moore's next fight is with 45-year-old George Foreman on November 5th. Michael Moore is in an interesting position because if he beats George Foreman on November 5th, he's got to defend against Tony Tucker. If he gets past Tucker, he has a clear shot to Mike Tyson at some point after Tyson comes out of prison. Maybe the happiest man on earth to see this happen, believe it or not, is George Foreman because he sees a very clear path now to Mike Tyson. If George Foreman could somehow beat Michael Moore on November 5th, he knows very well that the world will want to see a Foreman Tyson matchup. And if he can hang on to that title until Mike Tyson gets out of prison, George Foreman and Tyson could hook up for the biggest payday ever in boxing. As for Riddick Bowe, he may be the biggest loser, now without a shot at Lewis and a multi million dollar payday. In my mind, Riddick Bowe is the best. Overall, he has the best skills out there, the best power. And he is the man, ultimately, that I think we'd all like to see fight Mike Tyson when he gets out of prison. And so the heavyweights wait for Mike Tyson. Well, ESPN has learned that Riddick Bowe is now at Tuck Hall's first title defense will take place in December in Boston against another Don King heavyweight, a fellow named Peter McNeely. A record of 31-1 and one has McNeely and 25 knockouts. McNeely also happens to be from Boston. Mike Tyson, of course, is to be released from prison no later than next May. If Don King thinks Tyson's going to be fighting for a title right away, he might want to rethink his plan, at least based on these quotes in this morning's New York Daily News. Tyson says he wants to plot a comeback uh, the way George Foreman did, with a lot of fights to get back into shape. Tyson says to be mentally disciplined is critical that he starts again from scratch. Tyson says that they may want to have him fight for the title in a hurry, but says Tyson, at least as of today, He'll resist that notion, probably. And still to come over the next...